This section will provide a short introduction to safety precautions and maintenance regarding hydraulic systems. Always read the safety data sheet for the hydraulic oil used in your system. Minimize skin contact with hydraulic oil. Do not use gasoline, solvents, kerosene or similar products to remove oil from the skin. Use soap and water. Do not wear oil-soaked clothing. Wash hands and face before eating. Clean up spilled oil promptly and dispose of it correctly. Avoid inhalation of oil mist vapours. Obtain medical advice on all potential health hazard problems. When you are disconnecting any joint or fitting in a hydraulic system, make sure that there is no hydraulic pressure in the system. Even if the pump is off, there can be pressure due to accumulators or external loads. Secure anything that might move when pressure changes. Move direction control valves through all positions, so all lines have a chance to discharge. The part being worked upon should be isolated from the power source and a warning notice displayed. After you have relieved all pressure, loosen lines slowly and carefully. Have rags and bucket ready. Use clean rags to wipe off hydraulic components. Absolute cleanliness is essential when working on a hydraulic system. The presence of dirt and foreign materials in a system can result in serious damage or inadequate operation. Replace all O-rings and gaskets removed during disassembly. Only replacement components that comply with the manufacturer's recommendations should be used. The three major dangers to hydraulic systems are contamination, heat, internal and external leakage. 75% of hydraulic failures are due to the hydraulic oil being in poor condition. Filter indicators should be monitored and filters renewed as required. Hoses have to be compatible with the oil in use and system pressure and must be fitted without kinks or twists. Fittings should not be excessively tightened. During inspections, special attention should be paid to the condition of the filter, oil level, hot components, leakages and any unusual noise from components. Points to be checked. Oil level. Suction strainer. All filters. Mounting bolts and brackets. Operating pressure. Oil leaks. Oil temperatures. Speed of the pump. During maintenance, these components should be checked. Click on the hotspots to learn more. Filters. When a system is new, all filters should be changed after 50 hours. After this, the filters should be changed at regular intervals, or in the event of the dirt indicator on the filter indicating deflection. Pumps. Check temperature and noise when the pump is running. If the temperature is too high, inspect the pump. If the amount of oil leaking from the pump increases, the pump is worn. Pressure and flow control valves. Pressure valves. These valves should be checked for leaks. This can be done by placing your hand on the outlet of the valve. The pipe should be cool on normally closed valves. Also check that the valve is correctly set and that the adjusting screw has not moved. Volume control valves. Make sure that hydraulic actuators are moving at the correct speed and that the adjusting screw has not moved. Direction control valves. If cylinders are creeping, it can be due to wear in the direction control valve. Accumulators. The nitrogen charging pressure should be checked on a regular basis. Always use nitrogen when charging accumulators. Coolers, heaters, air cooler. Check fan operation. Air from the cooler should be warm. Water cooler. If the cooler is not efficient, high oil temperature, the cooler may be clogged. Heaters. Check set point and operation. Oil. 
The oil level should be checked on a regular basis. If you refill, always use the same oil as previously used on the system. Drain condensation water from the bottom of the tank on a regular basis. Pipes, hoses. Check all pipes and clamps. Check hoses. There should not be any mechanical wear or damage.